What problem do you solve for your customers? That's what I want to know today. Hello and welcome to The Draft by Valet Academy. I'm Scott Valentine and today I want to get into the question of what problem are you solving for your guests or your customers, whichever you call them. This subject came up a little while ago when I was talking to a barista and I was asking him about how his business was going. We got to the point where I asked him, what problem do you solve for your customers? And he looked at me very confused. So I said, do you want to know what problem you solve for me? He said, yeah, sure. And I said to him, well, I want to get out of the house for a little while. I want to come to a nice, cool, enjoyable atmosphere where there are people coming in. I want, I want to talk to you and the other guys that work here. I want to just step away from my life for a little bit and step into another world for a short amount of time. And I want to get a coffee, but I don't want to pay too much. And I want it to be of a certain quality. So this is the problem you solve for me. And he's like, ah, oh. got him thinking, right? So what I want to know from you is what is the problem you are solving for your customers? Because that will dictate the way you market to them, the way you message to them, the way you design the interior layout, the exterior facade of your building and the use of your building. Uh, that's what we want to know because it comes down to those core human emotions, functional uses. And if we put that all together, we can understand how we can better solve the problem and then put our money where it works because it's going towards uh, it's going towards somebody's problem and solving that problem and they'll pay you handsomely for that or they'll they'll pay whatever it's worth to them. So if you can identify all the problems the kind of people that come to your hotel bar restaurant are having that are above the functional problem of I want to eat, I want to drink, I want to sleep that are much greater than that, then you've got a greater chance at um, well, making more money because you're gonna, they're going to pay you to solve their problem. So put it in the comments below. It's a short one this week. I just wanted to ask you that question. And thank you again for joining us another week of The Draft. I'll be back next week, probably with a bit of a longer episode. Thanks a lot. Bye.